Okay, so hello grade 10, mabuhay. So again, this is Larry M. Del Rosario. And now, we are now on the third part of our topic on geometric sequence. Okay, kung, kung yung sa previous part, um, hinanap natin yung iba't ibang terms ng geometric sequence, this time, ang nahanapin naman natin ay ang ating first term or our A sub 1. Okay. So, ang ginawa ko para madali ninyong matandaan yung, yung process or mas madali sa inyo kung paano kuhanin yung A sub 1, dinerive ko na yung formula for A sub 1. So, para makuha natin yung A sub 1, ang formula natin ay A sub 1 equals A sub n over R raised to n minus 1. Okay, where A sub n is the given term and n, ito naman yung position ng given, given term, r is the common ratio, minus 1. Okay, so para mas maintindihan nyo ng maigi, let's have an example. In example number 1, we are going to find um, a sub 1 given that a sub 3 is equal to 125, sorry, We are going to look for a sub 1 given that a sub 3 equals 125 and a sub 4 equals 6 to 5. So, our task is to look for a sub 1. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, yung given na term na a sub 4 at a sub 3 ay magkasunod na term sa sequence. That means they are consecutive term. Para makuha natin si common ratio, we can simply divide 6 to 5 divided by 1 to 5. And 6 to 5 divided by 1 to 5 is simply 5. So, our common ratio is 5. Okay. Since alam na natin si common ratio, we can now proceed to the substitution of values. Okay. So, our formula for a sub 1 is a sub 1 equals a sub n over r raised to n minus 1. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Para hindi na mas mahirap sa inyo, yung gamitin nating a sub n ay yung mas maliit na a sub n sa given. And that is a sub 3. And a sub 3 is equal to 125. So yung given natin ay, in order to look for a sub 1, yung ating a sub 3 is 125 and we all know that our common ratio is already 5 okay so we can now substitute the values on the given so a sub 1 equals a sub n all over r raised to n minus 1 a sub 1 equals a sub 3 over 5 raised to 3 minus 1 and a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 is 125 divided by 5 squared and a sub 1 is equal to 125 divided by 25 and a sub 1 is equal to 5 okay so nakuha na natin yung ating com ay ating first term or a sub 1 which is equal to 5 Okay, so para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan, let's have another example. In example number 2, we have the given a sub 3 pa din, which is equal to 8, and a sub 4, which is equal to 16. Okay, so our task is to find for a sub 1. Okay, so ang una natin gawin ay hanapin natin si common ratio. Kung mapapansin nyo, si 4 at si 3 ay magkasunod lang na term ng sequence. So, we can simply divide 16 divided by 8, which is equal to 2. So, our common ratio is simply 2. So, using the formula, a sub 1 equals a sub n all over r raised to n minus 1. Okay? So, gagamitin ko ulit na a sub n ay yung mas mababa para mas madali. So, a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 all over, our common ratio is 2, our n 
is 3 minus 1. A sub 1 is equal to our A sub 3 is 8. So we have 8 divided by 2 and 3 minus 1 is 2. A sub 1 is equal to 8 divided by 4. So A sub 1 is equal to 8 divided by 4 which is equal to 2. So that is our, that is our first term, 2. Okay. But what if yung given natin ay hindi magkasunod na term ng sequence? Okay, so this time, medyo kailangan yung maging creative sa pag-iisip ng solution kung paano nyo masasolve yung ating problem. Let's say for example, in number 3, in number 3, ang given natin ay a sub 5, which is equal to 16, and a sub 7, which is equal to 64. If you are going to look at it, walang magkasunod na given na term kasi ang given natin ay 7 at 5. That means, our goal first is to find our common ratio. Okay, paano natin nahanapin si common ratio? Gagamitin pa din natin yung formula ng a sub 1. So, a sub 1 is equal to a sub 5 all over r raised to 5 minus 1. Okay, so, uh, Sinortcut ko na kahit pa paano. Ito naman ay a sub 1 equals a sub 7 all over r raised to 7 minus 1, 7 minus 1. So, a sub 1 is equal to a sub 5 is 16 all over r raised to 4. a sub 1 is equal to a sub 7 is 64 all over r, 7 minus 1 is 6. Okay. Next is, uh, we are going to have a sub 1 equals a sub 1. So, yung una nating a sub 1 ay 16 all over r raised to 4 equals, yung pangalawa nating a sub 1 ay 64 all over r raised to 6. Okay, so para masimplify natin, we are going to multiply both sides r raised to 4. So, cancel na to. Ito naman magiging 2. Okay, so wala na din yan. So, we have 16 equals 64 over r raised to 2. And then, we are going to multiply r raised to 2 both sides. So, cancel na to. And now we have um, r raised to 2, 16 equals 64. Since we are only looking for r, we are going to divide both sides by 16. Again, r squared is equal to 64 divided by 16 is 4. Since naka square yan, we are going to get its the square root of both sides. So, cancel, cancel. R is equal to um, positive or negative 4. Okay, para hindi kayo malito, gamitin muna natin yung positive 4. Okay, since nakuha na natin yung ating R, we can simply substitute R doon sa kahit sa ang given natin dito. Papalitan natin yung R ng positive or negative 4. Okay, so yung given natin na una ay gamitin na lang natin ito. So yung given natin ay 16 so a sub 1 is equal to 16 over r raised to 4. And a sub 1 is equal to 16 yung r, value ng r natin na nakuha natin kanina ay 2 raised to 4, and a sub 1 is equal to 16, and 2 raised to 4 is simply equal to 16. So, a sub 1 is equal to 16 divided by 16, which is equal to 1. So, our a sub 1 is simply 1. Okay, I hope you learned from our topic or the third part of our geometric sequence for today. Uh, do not forget to like this video and comment on this video if you still have any question regarding geometric sequence. Do not also forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you and God bless.